Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Evans Mills, New York, with, uh, well, Matthew the Village Idiot, as he uh, ended up getting in a fight in a Walmart parking lot and, well, ended up pretty much busted up and uh, ended up denting a woman's car in the scuffle. And he claims to be the innocent victim in all this. But you know what? Given how your personality is and how you've treated that whole town, uh, no, I don't think so, dude. Uh, you caused it somehow. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yo, what's up, what's up? I'm gonna go live to make sure I show this damage. Yo, what's up, Lowski? Yo, what's up, Brooklyn? I got, just got assaulted. Just, just got assaulted at Walmart. This lady's car has got, just got all smashed up. There's no, blood all over. That doesn't look like a fight. That looks more like a war. It looks more like that dude uh, took you and slammed you into that car. Matt, what the hell did you do to make him want to throw you that hard into a vehicle? Some damage here. Fucking clown. Just, you know, the internet drama. Look at my shirts all buddy. Wayne Simmons. <clears throat> he literally followed us into the parking lot. I can't see my chat very good, guys, uh, so I might have a problem. I don't know why my phone is so dark right now. The brightness is all the way up, but... We pull in Walmart. And we noticed him, he followed us into Walmart parking lot. The cops are on the way. There was a ton of people sitting here watching the whole thing, so. You know, out of all the frauditors that I watch, you're the only one that I seem to recall that goes out of their way to antagonize everybody in their hometown. Most all the other frauditors will go elsewhere to uh, get their videos. Just so it doesn't come to bite them in the ass later on. But you are different. You go out of your way to antagonize everybody in your hometown. And you cry like you're the victim. What Walmart, Evans Mills. Said my girlfriend. We're, 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 we parked right here. His truck's over here. Right here. I'm going to go make sure I get the license plate number. The lady, the lady was literally getting in her car ready to leave the car that he pushed me into. Oh, look, now he's fleeing the scene. Fleeing the scene. Wicked, huh? He took off. Well, then it was his girlfriend. It was his girlfriend. By herself? Her boyfriend's in the store still then. Well, they did. The vehicle did. Like I said, how can I see? I don't even have my glasses. My glasses were just smashed off my face. I see the vehicle left. I can't hear you. I didn't even say nothing to the fucking guy. The, the video wasn't even recording then. Man, you've heard it from me, you've heard it from Big West, you've heard it from Fraud of the Troll, you've heard it from Dr. Dave, you've heard it from just about everybody out there on our side. Don't piss off random people, otherwise you might just end up on the ground, and that's exactly what happened here. But hey, if you're going to be stupid, you've got to be tough, right? So just go ahead and take them lumps and uh, absorb them and just carry on with your life until such time as you realize, Meh, maybe you're the cause of your own misery, and then you'll figure it out and maybe you'll stop. But given uh, your inability to learn, I don't think so. Hey, hold on, Brooklyn. Uh, we are in Watertown, New York right now. Uh, 
What's the plate number? Uh, is anybody injured? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, you want the ambulance I, I don't, to take a look at you? They punched me in the face, so I mean. Do you want them to look at you or no? It's up to you. It sucks to deny medical, but I don't, I just don't think it's needed, you know, like. Are you bleeding actively? I'm not, no, I'm not, it's you know, it's, it stopped, okay. so. I mean, yeah, you can see, out, you can see the evidence, you know, yeah, yeah, so, I see, I see. you know, I think I'm good with that. I don't, I don't think I need medical. Okay. Nah, man, he doesn't need no doctor. He's a tough old boy. If you even take his arm off, he'd be bleeding all over the place and he still won't need no doctor. He'd be laughing in your face about your doctor. He don't need no doctor. So what happened? We were coming down Route 11 from Evans Mills. Uh, we pull up next to him. Must be he's seen us in his rear view mirror Who's coming that? up beside us, Wayne Simmons. Wayne Simmons, okay. Uh, and he, he was like this at me. Okay. And I'm like, who, who, you know, I didn't know who he was. I didn't, I don't know who, what he drives. I know Wayne Simmons. Right. You know, we grew up in Governor together. But like I said, I didn't exactly see who was flipping me off or I didn't know what he was driving. But he followed us in here. Uh, we went up and down a couple of times to see oh, if he would follow us. When you, you know, were driving or driving? Driving. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we weren't driving. His mom was. She took off. We pulled in here. Okay. We pulled in here. He pulled in. He pulled in over there. Uh, the next row over. Okay. He was parked right over here. He got out. My girlfriend got out, took the dog down here to go pee real quick before we went in Walmart. So that way he didn't go to the bathroom. He took a big old dump in there yesterday. A big old mess. But uh, I got in the driver's seat to roll the windows up. I noticed the windows were down. I don't want to leave the windows down in the middle of the parking lot. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Um, he get out and took a picture of me because he knows I don't have a license. So he thought he could use that and say that I was trying to drive or something, you know? Right. Um, I got out and I asked him simply, I was like, what are you, you know, what are you gonna do with the picture? Like, why, why did you just snap my picture? He came running across here, started swinging at me, pushed me up against this lady's car. As she was, as she was, as she was, as she was then he pushed me down right here. Okay. And then what, did he just go in the store? He went in Walmart. He's inside, okay. Yep. We don't know if he's I said his girlfriend inside. just took off with the truck. Oh, uh, okay. So, so his vehicle's not here anymore? Nope. Okay. But you know it's Wayne Simmons? I know for Where a fact. Where does he live now? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I think uh, Depot Street in Governor, I believe, but... Okay. I have the license I believe, plate so... Too. Daddy boy, uh, why is it every time you go somewhere in this town, somebody wants to do harm to you? Have you got the spirit of Ken McElroy in you? You know that uh, town bully that met his match back in 1981? Yeah, the whole town got together on him and ended up uh, erasing him from the world. And if you're not careful, uh, that's the same thing that can happen to you if you push people's buttons way too far. So do just be careful, okay? Yeah, it was Wayne Simmons. He's he's from the same the, the town I grew up in. Uh, I've been to jail with him. I did a little bit of time in jail with him. Like I said, we pulled in here and we noticed some just for the new people. We pulled in here. Uh, uh, we pulled in here to go to Walmart. We we're going in uh, to get a couple of things. Uh, when we we're coming down Route 11, we seen him. Uh, we actually came up next to him you know he was in the lane ahead of us but we came up and passed him like this side you know down the two-lane road uh i noticed him he's going like this out the window i didn't notice it was him i just noticed someone you know flipping me off so i flipped him off back i did um and he followed us into walmart parking lot my girlfriend went up and down a couple aisles looking for a spot um he kept following us down the aisles. I got out of the car. I jumped out real quick, you know, to 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 say to see if he had, you know, something to say. Sounds like to me that uh, you need to learn some de-escalation tactics. Next time someone flips you off, just ignore them and walk away. Man, that will prevent a lot of this crap from happening. And that's assuming your story is uh, true and accurate. Um. I didn't say a word to him. He, he, he continued, uh, pulled in down the road, the next aisle over. Uh, he got out. He was standing right here. Uh, my girlfriend took the dog down to the end of the parking lot to go pee before we took him inside with us. And uh, he come across walking here. I got in the driver's seat. He knows I don't have a license. So I know exactly what he was thinking. You know, he thought that I was getting in the car to drive it or something. 
So he snapped my picture while I was sitting in the driver's seat. Uh, I got out and I asked him, I was like, what do you think you're going to do with the picture? You know, then I noticed who it was. I was like, what do you think you're going to do with the picture? And he instantly come running across the road, uh, pushed me up against his car, started swinging at me, trying to accuse me of swinging at him. And there's, like I said, there's a dozen people sitting right here, standing right here watching the whole thing. This lady seen the whole thing. She was getting in her vehicle. Well, dude, it sounds to me like you're the one who's pretty much at fault here. Maybe you misinterpreted the guy's uh, gesture on the highway, or maybe you just outright shot him a bird. We don't have the uh, visual proof on any of that. We just have your word on things, and you tend to uh, twist words to benefit your narrative. And I've been on several panels with you, and you just, you just have this way about not understanding simple facts. You twist the narrative to your benefit. I've seen it firsthand. You've done it to me. You've done it to all the people on uh, panels that you were on with. I mean, there's no getting around it. You're hard-headed. And me personally, I think it's way too late, far too late for you to learn any uh, techniques to prevent this kind of thing from happening. And I think this is going to be following you for the rest of your life, however long that is. So pretty much you're just a waste of time and you're just going to be entertaining everybody the wrong way until then. So have fun. At any rate guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.